So, third attempt of recording with Exile. Um, the reason why it's the third attempt is that the first time the sound wasn't quite right, and the second time it st just stopped recording somewhere for some mysterious reason. I don't know. I suppose the file grew too large, so I'll just start afresh. Um, there is a reason I didn't start with the first two because I don't have them in English for one thing, and for another, especially Mist, is very difficult to install and. Uh, Windows 7 system. It's not impossible, I managed once, but it's really a, a pain. Especially if you want to play other games at the same time, well, not at the same time, obviously, but um, say five minutes later because you need old versions of DirectX and um, what's it? QuickTime, and then you have to get the new ones for the other game. And no, this is really too much. Fast, I guess. I think I didn't have these problems with Riven. I do not remember, however, and I only have it in German anyway, and I'm completely unwilling to translate. So there goes Miss Exile. I have that <laughs> in English, obviously. Um, you don't see that yet, but you will see now. Let's just start a new game. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably not take the uh, uh, traditional route through the game. I realized as our group linked back to Dunny that we should not restore the city as we had planned. The once magnificent buildings lay in ruin, a testament to the hatred that had consumed them. Too many people had fallen victim to that hate, to the prejudice and greed on which it sprang. Gazing out across the cavern, I decided to write another age. One that would help the Dunny survivors begin again, free from the tragedies of their past. So with my wife, Catherine, supporting me, I put aside that past to write a future. More than a year has gone by since I finished writing Belishon. I have a new daughter, who I hope will someday link to the age with me. And as I imagine Yisha meeting the Dunny, those brave men and women who are building a new life for themselves, I realize I've been given another chance as well. A chance to learn from my mistakes and leave the past behind me once and for all. Yeah, I will try and talk over the music, although it certainly will hear me. There will be spoilers for the first two games um, in this one and the next, so if you haven't played them, consider not watching. Breathtaking, isn't it? We call it Tamana. We moved here after Atrus finished writing Relishan. He wanted us to have a new home too. I'm so glad to see you. I told Atrus our paths would cross again. He was just going to grab something for your trip to Relation, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Unless he decides to check over the whole house first, which means he could be hours resetting all his padlocks. But I know he was looking forward to introducing you to the Dunny, so he shouldn't be terribly long. Why don't you wait in his study? Yeah, why don't I wait in his study? I um, remember the graphics, especially by movement and people are concerned not to be quite so crappy, but that might be my mistake because I haven't played the game in a while. Um, before I enter the study, I will stop recording for a moment just to check um, Fraps isn't kidding me again. Yeah, well, it isn't as it seems. So, we enter the study. We can look around um, at almost everything here. This is a linking book. Um, we can travel through ages um, by using those books if the panels do not look like that. If they do look like that, they're obviously broken. Nothing happens if we click them. We can... You can look at most everything um, here without being able to manipulate it and sometimes you have to make an effort to tell if this is now important or if this is completely just a pointless photograph of his wife and his two oldest sons or if there is really anything to it. Some things you can manipulate, especially later, and have to manipulate them um, to solve the puzzles, which are 
sometimes really, really difficult. Aleta. Taman. Thank you for responding so quickly to my request for narrow padlocks. As you know, security in Tomana has become an important issue of late. Perhaps I am overreacting as Catherine suggests, but the idea that someone may have been sneaking into my study, reading all of my journals, disturbs me. After what happened to my library on Mist, after my own sons, Cyrus and Akana, destroyed so many of my books, I've come to realize how delicate the link is to my world. I've never been able to repair those burned books, to link to each age and find out if the inhabitants survived. The padlocks won't change the situation, but they should ease my fear of trespassers considerably. Sincerely, Atrus. Yeah, padlocks um, won't help much against fire, um, which is what happened to his first library, it was burned down. Um, I think we saw this picture in the intro, didn't we? Or uh, well, the other one, I'm not certain, I think this one it was. This being Atreus talking to the people of some age you just linked to, um, I would guess. So, now here we have the book relation. We just heard a door closing behind us. Um, the book um, is called Relation, the age is called Relation, which is where he wants, he being Atreus, wants his people to rebuild their homes after their own world has been destroyed. Um, this is their system of writing, which we will re-encounter one game later, or was it two games later? I'm not quite sure, I know it's one game later. Um, we will encounter this writing and we will have to learn it, um, at least the basics, and well, the age is called Relation, it is um, safe behind a kind of lock and under a glass thingy. Let's talk to it, just doing Well, my favor. friend, I see you found the Relishan book. Catherine tells me you've been here for some time. I'm sorry if I've kept you waiting. But since we'll be gone a few days, I need to secure some of my things. And I also wanted to bring you this. It's a journal I kept while I was writing Relishan. I thought you might find it interesting to read about what I'd hoped to achieve, compared to what the age truly is. Well, just let me get my keys to unlock. I'm interested in hearing what you've been up to in recent months. Uh oh. No! No! Do you recognize that guy? He will look a little less pixely later so you can have a proper look at him. Vision! I mean the actor, not the person. Yeah, Atreus is acting as if not a book had been stolen by his daughter and we follow a madman who for whatever mysterious reason grabbed a book and um, headed off to this sandy piece of rock somewhere. Let's just quickly run after him before I make another break. These breaks will probably not be the breaks of my videos, but yeah. So there he goes, and upstairs, and for some annoying reason, we cannot follow him really quickly. We always have to watch him disappear, and cannot just grab him and shake him to some sense. Oh, well, if we look through here, we see him pass. Well, we can do that a few times. We cannot get, on, get in here apparently, so we'll have to find another way, and that is what we will do next. Time. 